Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special video prepared for you today. We are going to find out if artificial intelligence has already surpassed humanity. Precisely, we are looking who can better commentate on a chess game. I have picked out two games I played against an opponent three months ago roughly. And one game I will commentate and the other the AI will. And you guys decide who did it better. Alright, let's jump into the first game. It starts as a Sicilian defense. This will be exactly or more or less the same opening as the second game. And here we have the Knight of vari Variation. Bishop c4 is called the Lipnitsky attack, I believe. And it's just standard procedure. Then f5 comes, f4 comes. White is announcing a kingside attack. But he rushes things a bit. So now I trade and just castle. Posi position is still fine for both players. Now this is a bit of a weird move. I mean it prevents bef before, but that's not really a threat right now because it's protected. So I just develop my bishop, but this is a bad move actually. It just hangs a pawn, simple as that. But they don't take it, I hang it again, still don't take it. And now I play d5 which has the idea of utilizing the fact that the queen and the king are on the same diagonal. So now after e5, they just hang the queen. They proceed to take my knight. I take the, the queen and I should be easily winning here. I took this pawn. So after any move, for example, if they take here, then they take my queen and my rook at the same time. So I took here, and now I have to be very careful, which I wasn't in the game, because here, white actually has a big threat. Uh, if I do nothing, like I did in the game, I just played queen c7. Now they can give this check, and after they give another check with the bishop, that's just checkmate. So what I had to do here is either pin this rook, or just move, out with, move away with the king. Now, in case they do this, try to set up the same mate, and I can just block with the rook, and that should be fine. I lost this game, so now let's have a look at how the engine will commentate on the other game. This was a chess game played using the Sicilian defense, Najdorf variation, Lipnitsky attack opening. The game started with the moves 1, e4, c5, 2, nf3, d6, 3, d4, cx, d4, 4, nxd4 nf65 nc3 a66 bc4 which is a common move in this opening white then played 7 bg5 putting pressure on black's position black responded with 7 b7 and white continued with 8 qf3 which aims to support the pawn on e4 black castled on move 8 but then played a questionable move on move 10 by developing the knight to c5 instead of the more solid qc7 White made a mistake on move 11 by playing KB1, allowing Black to equalize the game. However, Black then made a mistake on move 13 by taking the pawn on E5 with the bishop, instead of taking the bishop on F6, which would have given Black a stronger position. White regained control of the game with the move 14, EXF6, which allowed White to take control of the F-file. Black then blundered on move 15 by playing RF8, allowing white to win a piece with bxd1. White continued to put pressure on black's position with the moves 17, axe b3 and 18, knee 4, and black was unable to defend against the onslaught. White missed a better move on move 21 by playing rg1 instead of nnf5, which would have put even more pressure on black's position. After white played 25, rg7, black made a critical mistake by playing e5 instead of qf4, which would have offered some defense. White responded with RxF7, forcing Black to resign the game. Overall, it was a well-played game by White, who took advantage of Black's mistakes to secure a victory. What the fuck? So if you're totally creeped out by this, then you're stronger mentally than I am. So now, if you think I did a better job, then click the subscribe button. If you think the AI did a better job, also click the subscribe button. So we can have a fair voting here.